Hello, Pisces. I hope you're doing well. Let's find out what's going on with Pisces and what does Pisces need to know? Messages for Pisces, please. So the first thing that came out is a Ten of Swords. Um, this is a painful ending. This is difficult. It's over. There's something you've got to let it go. Ugh, we don't love to see that, but let's get some context. What is going on with this Ten of Swords? It could be like a breakup or something. Ooh, something has got to end so that something new can begin. When you wrap this up and let this go and allow this to fade into the dust, you're coming into a new milestone in your life. You're reaching an, a, a new a new phase of your own personal development and evolution of your life. So, okay, this painful ending is leading you to a beautiful new beginning, which is nice that it feels a little cliche though. So what are we talking about here? Can we bring this down to earth? Okay, so this is about, wow. This is like peace of mind. This is like getting a new house. If you're looking for a new house or a new job, this is a really good sign. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Somebody knows the truth. Could be this Cancer. We got the Chariot here, the Queen of Cups. Um, okay, well, so now we're coming back to this. There has been some kind of difficult, maybe like a fight here, and someone has been pulled in so many different directions. It's only a matter of time before you get some clarity on this. There's a need to focus on your health and your finances right now. You want to focus on your your beauty, your your physical beauty, your physical health, your wellness, your clothing, your your house. You may want to um you may need to clean the house. You know, it may make you feel better actually. Something like that. This is what the Queen of Pentacles is talking about and the Queen of Cups here too. Somebody feels like this is, there's been a failure here and they have to be really strong. You may be dealing with some kind of a Leo who has a hard decision to make and you have to let something go. You're definitely seeing a situation from a new perspective, seeing it in a new light. Somebody feels like they did not get what they wanted, like they did not um, they didn't win. They did not win the fight. They lost. That's what I'm trying to say. They failed. They lost the fight. They, they failed the competition. They did not. I just heard, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Uh, they did not get what they wanted. And there's been some kind of betrayal here as well. You may have lost your house or you lost your job or your partner or something. And this caused some conflict and chaos in your life. And so you're, you know, and you're getting clear on the truth about how you need to move forward after all of this. It's only a matter of time before you do. I'm feeling very motivated, but, but at the same time, kind of stuck. Like someone has really strong emotions and feelings about this situation and they know that they have to do something here about it but they feel like they can't is that what it is it's like okay so i'm getting back to this messy house idea again or you know you need to move and you have all this stuff and you have to pack or like you're looking at your house and it's it's an actual chaotic mess like maybe you have kids running around everywhere maybe you just don't have time I don't know I'm not I'm not judging you it's not about judging I'm just seeing and I have to say what I'm seeing I'm seeing a vision I'm seeing an image in my mind on my scrying mirror I don't think you can see my scrying mirror but it's right there and I'm seeing I'm seeing someone's house and there's just stuff everywhere like your apartment where you live there's just there's all kinds of like clothing on the furniture and on the floor. There's like, I'm seeing your house needs to be cleaned up. You need to clean your house, okay? I don't know. If it's not your message, then that's okay. But for somebody out there, I think you'd feel better. But here's the thing is like, you know this already. I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know. 
But the thing is, is like, you are depressed. You're depressed. You are tired. You are exhausted. You don't feel good. You've had a really bad time. You just need to get some sleep. You need to relax. You need to rest. And you just don't even have time for yourself, let alone cleaning the house. So you don't have the energy. So you already know this. And you look around and you're like, this place is a frigging disaster. I need to clean, but I'm so tired. It hurts my heart. It, your body hurts. You're, you're, you're exhausted. You don't have the energy you need to rest and heal. You need to just like lay on the floor, <laughs> but there's no room on the floor because there's stuff all over the place, you know? So I don't know. Ooh, this is tough. We're going to get some more cards. I feel like I need to get some oracles for you too. Because I feel like I'm connecting to somebody who's exhausted and depressed. And you need some rest. You need deep rest. Depressed. Deep rest. Get it? Like, you need that. So, deep rest is what you really need. Alright, wait. Hold up. Let me, let me see. Let me see. I feel like this is vague. Like, there's something really ambiguous about this. And I want to bring it down to earth but so what is this for Pisces I almost called you cancer like you know you need to move but you're trying to hold on you're just trying to hold on to your job you're trying to hold it together you're trying to keep it together what is the knight of cups Ooh, but you know you want a new one like you feel stuck in the job that you're in. You feel stuck in the situation, but you want to go in a new direction and you need to get some sleep. You need some rest and healing and relaxation. And now there's the king of pentacles, the two of pentacles, the Capricorn, devil, the Capricorn, seven of wands, the tower, geez. Okay, the nine of wands, the 10 of wands, the fool. Like, I don't know if you, I don't think you have a choice. Like you're not... It's like you're trying to keep it together. You're trying to stay on track, making progress in your life, making changes for the better in your life. You've been working on it. You want this new beginning. You need this money. You need this stability. You need this job. You want to go in a new direction. You know, you're not happy where you're at, but you don't have a lot of options. You feel, you feel like you don't, you want to leave. You're going to have to leave eight of cups. You're going to have to leave a situation. Wow. Okay. You have a partnership here. The King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this King of Pentacles, whoever this is, is going to come in and try to help you. Someone's going to help you with this. This could be a new lover or this is someone who really cares and is sharing some kind of resources with you, is giving you a hand or is like helping you out or is like investing in this. This relationship, this is someone who is very down to earth, very grounded. You may be connecting with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I've especially got Capricorn here very strongly four times. Um, Pisces is also here. Who am I reading for? P I'm reading for Pisces. Okay, so that makes sense. Libra is also here. So what you need to know is that somebody wants to give you something here. You may be getting a new job or it's like a new house and this is going to help to put your mind at ease. This is going to help you to get some rest, get some sleep. This is somebody who could, you can lean on this person. You're growing together. This relationship is growing. I've got the, look at this, ace, two, three, four of pentacles. This is like growing your money, growing your bank account, becoming more stable, becoming more established. Somebody here is like going, okay, there's a Knight of Pentacles. It may have been going kind of slow. Page of Pentacles. So you're exhausted from some kind of very stressful situation. Could be to do with work and struggling with money and just like, ugh. I feel that way. And... You've been trying so hard to keep it together, but it's falling apart. And you can't control it. You can't stop it. It's happening. But I think you have the strength and the power and the energy to 
handle the situation. You are. You're finding the, the endurance within yourself, the perseverance to manage this. What is this? Like trying to manage like a controlled demolition. I think Scorpio had that too in the last Scorpio reading I think I did last week or whenever it was. Maybe it was two weeks ago by now. There's the chariot again. Justice. So you're highly motivated to go in this new direction. You're getting ready to go. Like you have, a, you have to move. You need to pack all the boxes, but it's so exhausting. Or maybe you just moved and now you have to unpack. Like moving is so exhausting and so expensive, but it looks like you might not have a choice. You have to defend yourself against some kind of serious enemy or seriously toxic element in your environment. There's an, an there's an influence here of toxicity and stress and discomfort and exhaustion and depression. And you you're so freaking tired. I just keep picking up on that. So freaking tired. And it's it's exhausting and it's draining you and leaving you feeling empty. It is emotionally and spiritually unfulfilling. So you're going to end up leaving this behind. You want to go towards a new direction. You're making up your mind to do so. You're coming to some kind of agreement with this fellow earth sign. I mean, I saw the king and queen of pentacles. It's like, this is a, a partnership where the two of you are very grounded, practical, down to earth people who want the same kind of lifestyle. Okay. And so you're going towards this new relationship, eight of cups, two of cups. It's like you are walking in the direction of a very compatible partner who is financially stable and a very grounded, practical person who may be very predictable, you know, kind of boring, but like in a good way because they're very easy, easy going, easy to get along with, or like easy to predict, like you know where they're going to be. They're not unpredictable. They're not all over the place. They're like a very solid person. And I feel like this is giving you a sense of comfort and putting your mind at ease knowing that you have this job or this financial security. You're getting a new job or a new house. This is going to be good for you. But you're, it's exhausting. You have to pack your stuff and move. And it just sucks. It sucks so bad. Or there's an uncertainty here. There's a there's a taking a risk. Going in a new direction can be kind of risky. Yeah, maybe it feels very uncomfortable. Maybe there's a lot of competition out there for this new job or for this new house. Like you're trying to find a new place to live and so is everybody else under the sun. And rent is too damn high. And it's hard to find a job. Like, you you know, moving to a new city can be very stressful. You got to get a job. You got to find a place to live. You get to have first, last, and security deposit. It could be like 6000 freaking dollars depending on where you're going. Like, it may be even more than that. Depends on the, the place where you live, you know. So maybe you're moving in together with this other person who is also going to like, they're going to pay half the everything. Yeah, you're strategizing. You're trying to find a way. You're trying to find a way forward to manifest some kind of financial security together for the family, for the kids, for the for the pets or whatever. Even if it's just the two of you, whatever that means for you. Um, okay, let me get some more. What does Cancer need to know about this? I just called you Cancer, but this is Pisces. Okay, you may be dealing with a Cancer. We get the King of Cups here. This person is trustworthy. They are very loyal. They're very emotionally stable, financially secure and emotionally stable. Um, your emotions are going to be feeling stabilized, you know, like you're going to be feeling comfortable and safe. This person's going to help you put your mind at ease. Whatever this new opportunity is, and I think it's in love. Somebody loves you. Somebody cares very, very much. And they, because they care, they're going to offer you this from the bottom of my heart. I really care about you. They may be proposing to you. What is this King of Cups? Could be a, okay yeah a romantic relationship six of cups nine of cups someone wants to give you a romantic offer or gift that's going to make you feel really happy this is like a wish come true it's it's very good look at all of these cups all of these emotions you're going to find that missing piece 
you're gonna go from the eight to the nine. So it's like you leave behind an emotionally, spiritually unfulfilling, draining situation that made you feel empty and made you feel exhausted, okay? And you're walking away towards a new lover, a new relationship that's gonna make you feel a lot more stable. It's gonna be very safe, very peaceful, very calm and quiet, maybe even a little boring, but hey, if you've been going through crazy, insane, destabilizing stress, maybe, maybe you'll really enjoy somebody who's very quiet and stable and maybe kind of boring looks good to you right now. Boring is stable, okay? That's what I'm getting. So it's like, you really appreciate this person. You're not sure about it. You, you're, you're really going through a hard time right now, so you don't know what, what exactly to expect. But I'm telling you, my cards are saying this person wants to take care of you. This person wants to give you what you need. This person wants to make you feel safe and comfortable. You may be dealing with a cancer. Cancer had a similar energy to this. So either it's you or someone you're connecting with. You may be connecting with somebody who's going through this. Someone has a plan and they're so reliable. This person's very reliable, very trustworthy. Anything else that cancer needs to know? I keep calling you cancer. Pisces. You're Pisces, right? Maybe you have cancer placements. You might want to watch that reading. Um, okay, so anything else that Pisces needs to know? Queen of Wands. Who's the Queen of Wands? Who's this Queen of Wands? What is, what is she doing here? There's a fire sign here. Seeing the higher purpose in all of this. Four of Pen. Okay, this is getting into something else. Are you afraid that this person's gonna judge you? The devil, the strength. There could be a Leo. There could be, you could have Leo placements. So you may be dealing with somebody that's Capricorn and Leo here again. You have to be really strong to handle a situation. I think this is coming back to you being very strong to handle a situation. Someone is keeping a lot of their anxiety, their fear, their pain, their suffering to themselves. They're afraid of being judged or of being misunderstood. They feel like they have to do things by themselves for themselves. They feel like it's every man for themselves out here. That they have to hold down the fort. That they have to do it all themselves. They feel like they are, they are reluctant to open up or rely on other people. They feel like they can't rely on other people to do things for them. They have to do it themselves. They have to be strong and powerful and independent and keep it together. Is this you or, or what? Like, cause you're connecting with somebody who wants to help you and you may be, are you rejecting the help? Are you rejecting this person's offer? Are you closed off and reluctant? You're being asked to see it from a higher perspective and to have, I guess, an open mind or forgive yourself. It's not about, you're, nobody's judging you. Maybe you're judging yourself. Like you feel like you're not good enough. You feel like you're not lovable. You're not attractive. You're not feeling very confident right now. Maybe whatever this stressful, difficult, destabilizing situation was, it really did a number on your self-esteem. You're not feeling very good right now. That's temporary. That will pass. This person's going to help you feel better about yourself. You'll feel more. See, I feel like this is bringing us back. You'll feel more attractive. Like you don't feel very attractive right now. And the queen of pentacles in the beginning, remember she was talking to us about our health and our beauty. You're, if you've been neglecting your health, your beauty, your wardrobe, your skincare, your, your brush, you know, even brushing your teeth or whatever. Like you, you really need to take better care of yourself. You need to clean up your house. Um, a dragonfly just flew into the window outside. Okay. Did you hear that? It just hit the glass. I feel like that's a sign. Dragonflies are very good luck. They're a sign of good fortune. You are very lucky. Okay, this person is going to make you feel so much better. They really love you. They really care about you. They, they just want to help. This person just wants to help. And they do find you very attractive. Nobody's perfect, okay? Nobody's perfect. This person's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. It's not about that. It's about the energy. It's about the heart. 
they see something in you. Do you see anything in them? Do you like them at all? Yes, you do. I think you do. I think you do. So let them, let them help you. Unless you don't want to. This could be so healing. This is very healing for you. They're giving you compliments. They're giving you gifts. They're, they're reassuring you. They're putting your mind at ease, putting your heart at ease. They're making you feel better. This is a very healing experience for you. You're in alignment with success. Go for it. This new person wants to help. They want to take care of you. They want to provide for you. It makes them feel good to see you doing better to 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 help it makes them feel good honestly it makes them feel good about themselves it makes them feel strong like i can help other people i can provide they get a certain pride out of that very quiet person very unassuming but they're very reliable they're very trustworthy and they care a lot they care very deeply they want to give you things they want to make you happy they want to give you pleasure they want to give you love they want to give you satisfaction they want to give you peace of mind they want to help you with money whatever this is and I know that you have been having a hard time and they do too. You may have been stuck or trapped in a bad situation. They see that. They want to help you fix it. They want to help you feel better. But you need to also take some care of yourself. So I don't know. This is probably not resonating with everybody. Don't take this the wrong way or take it however you want. It's up to you. I'm just telling you what I see. Somebody really loves you and they want to give from a place of love and care. This person may be older. Very unassuming, quiet person. Virgo energy as well. Ace of Cups though, Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So this person is coming towards you. This could really change your life. But I think you need to be wise or intelligent about the way that you handle this. Like you be, this is initiating something with you. They are initiating this with you. It could be a Capricorn or Virgo or Aquarius. Spend some time in introspection. What kind of future do you really want to have? Is this on your path? Is this what you are destined to receive? I would say yes, it is. You are destined to receive a beautiful life. You are destined to have a beautiful life. Do you feel like you don't deserve it? Stop. Of course you do. You are lovable. You are so lovable just the way you are because you are the way that you are. This person loves you. They want to see you shine. They want to make you feel better. They want to help you out. They want to give you something. They want to pick you up and brush you off. If you have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with a Leo, I uploaded a video, I think it was yesterday, that was like um, smiling through the pain or like pity puddle was the name of the title. Somebody's like in self-pity or like very depressed and I'm not trying to be dismissive. I'm just saying like you need deep rest. You need a safe place where you can lay down and get some sleep and eat some food and relax and take good care of yourself and clean the, but like clean the house, all right? <laughs> you need to clean your, <laughs> Does this is this terrible? Am I out of line here? Is this offensive? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of me telling you to clean your house? Do you love it when I tell you that? Sorry. It's what I'm seeing in the cards. Like, you know this already, though. And you know it's true. If you could do a little bit every day and make it better, like, as much as you can. But I know how tired you are. And I'm I'm one to talk, let me tell you. I'm. This is not about judging you. I'm not one to judge. This is not about condemning you or even condoning the behavior. It's about understanding and rising up. Rising up from the dead. All right, rising up like the phoenix. You have a second chance here. You, you're you being given a chance. Someone wants to give you something. This could be a very, very good collaboration. You want to hold on to this. You're trying to keep it together. Maybe be receptive to this new beginning, this new offer, this new ace of pentacles. You have a money path opening up. You have a pathway to success opening up for you. Yes, there may be work involved and it may not be glamorous, but depending on your own personal situation, this could be just what you needed. This is exactly what you need at just the right time. I'm going to get you an Oracle before we go. What's the clock say? 2441. I think it said 2442, actually 2442. The season of the witch. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So the queen of Queen of Wands is a witch. Trust 
the process. You're rising up. This, this opportunity is hiding in plain sight. Trust the process. Okay, let's read for Season of the Witch before we go, because I don't remember. Well, trust the process says, in the meantime, oh my God, you see this? Trust the process. In the book, it says, in the meantime, bless this mess. How perfect is that? Bless this mess. This blessed mess. In the, oh my God, trust the process. And in the meantime, bless this mess. How perfect. Okay, let's read for Season of the Witch. That blows my mind. I freaking love this game. So it says, <laughs> recent tidings brought cataclysmic change with more to come. Those on earth at this time find themselves amidst a reckoning. This is your reckoning. This is the judgment. This is the tower. This is the reckoning. Cataclysmic changes. Prepare your ritual. Fine tune your magic. Bring an offering to the apocalyptic potluck. You were born for this after all. So you've got the power. You've got the energy. You, this is a part of your destiny, a part of your plan, part of your path. Show me the face you had before your parents were born. Interesting. Utilize this Chinese Zen cone. Okay, show me the, your original face, the face you had before your parents were born. Which, by the way, I split the deck and that's what I got, and it's right underneath. So it says, utilize this Zen cone to temporarily slip through linear time. A jumping off point for imagination, meditation, and realization. The notion of an original face has been long explored in Buddhism to refer to an ultimate reality only accessible when all misconceptions and unrealities have been removed. Letting go of misconceptions and unrealities, okay? Remove it. Life is designed to make us forget our original face. To die is to remember. Glimpses are available to the living through spirituality. So your spirituality can help guide you through this mess right now. Can you believe it? Bless this mess right there. And look at that, like all this stuff all over the place and the boxes. So you may be moving or you need to clean your house or something or like, you know this already. I'm not telling you anything you need to, you don't already know. It's just like, you need to pay special attention to that. If that's your message, then this is your reading. It's like, trust the process, but in the meantime, bless this mess. And you were born for this. These are some cataclysmic changes that you are going through, but you were born for this. You've got the strength, you've got the power, and you've got some help coming to you. Probably in the form of this relationship, somebody that really cares about you, that you can trust, that's gonna help to see you through this, this problem, this process, these changes. You can rely on this person. They're gonna be there for you. This person wants to be there for you, that's all. So... That's what I've got for you today. I almost called you Sagittarius for some reason. I don't know why, but you are Pisces. Maybe there's a lot of cross watchers watching today, or maybe there's people like with cancer or Sagittarius placements watching or Capricorn, or maybe you're dealing with these signs. But okay, prepare yourself for this new beginning. This is happening. It's time to go. I know you're tired but you're gonna have to fight your way through this or you're gonna have to endure this and you've got the strength, you've got the ability, you can do this, you are lovable, you are good enough, you are capable, you're totally capable of handling this and there's a new relationship here that's gonna help you, be very beneficial to you. It's gonna put your mind at ease. So trust the process and bless this mess. And that's what I've got for you today, Pisces. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and you'd like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye-bye.